Hi, I'm Marguerite Miller. I am a collage artist who likes to use vintage ephemera and vintage elements in my art. The end of the year is fastly approaching. Uh, it is definitely fall and I want to show you what I've been working on these past several weeks. So a couple of weeks ago I finished this project using fast flow stitching in my collage. I created a strip of collaged papers and then with my sewing machine I added a strip of sewing right down the middle. I'd not done this before. It was really cool. I really enjoyed it and I liked that I got to choose the kinds of papers that I wanted to use in a specific theme. So I wanted to choose fall colors. So I had yellows and oranges and then the thread I chose a very light kind of beige brown to kind of pull everything together. After I completed that strip of collaged materials, I wanted to use it for something. And my all time favorite thing I like to create is postcards. So I thought that I would cut it up and use those pieces in individual postcards. So I created postcards with a very neutral background and then added the strip in the middle. Sometimes I added a little bit of extra papers along the edges to kind of blend in the strip with the background. I also added a little bit of rubber stamping. And then finally, I pulled out my stencils and a little bit of modeling paste and added a layer on top of leaf motif um, for fall right on the very top of the postcard. Since I've pulled out my sewing machine, I have started thinking about other projects that I can use with sewing. I created a junk journal a couple of years ago, a fabric covered junk journal. And I also used fabric for some of the pages on the inside. And I've only done one of these kinds of journals. So I've been thinking about creating a second journal. Recently, I went to go look at some fabric samples. There is this place where I am in the South Bay of the San Francisco Bay Area. It's called Fab Mo, and it stands for Fabric and More. And they are a nonprofit that accept donations of all kinds of fabrics and materials. They also accept tiles and wood and kind of one-off uh, things like that, but mainly they deal with fabrics. And there they also have a lot of upholstery fabrics. In one room, they have a lot of free items that I got to look through and to find uh, fabrics that I thought would make really good covers for a junk journal. Many of these pieces are cut just at the right size, I think, and they have been seam, seam bound with a serger so it won't unravel at the ends. So it's kind of like prepared. These pieces are prepared and they are just calling my name to begin creating a journal. I host art exchanges four times a year. And for this last quarter, our topic or our theme was to exchange zines. So people have been mailing in zines and I have them now on my dining room table where I am sorting through them and exchanging them with other zines. People are going to be receiving eight zines for the zines that they have mailed in to me. The collage art in these zines are very well done. I'm constantly amazed at the creativity that I see. I am finishing up volume three of the Collage Weekly Planner, which is a glue book and a weekly planner with 52 assignments. 
This is good for people who enjoy working with guided assignments to create collage art. The Collage Weekly Planner Volume 3 is on sale now and will start to ship in early December. Lastly, because the Christmas season is almost here, I've been working on a short online project with Christmas Collage. I am calling it the 12 Pages of Christmas, and you receive printables for creating a little glue book that you fill with collages based on the Christmas theme. If you'd like to learn more about the 12 Pages of Christmas, I will be sending out an email about that shortly. Uh, make sure that you're on my email list. The link is in the description box below. As you can see, I am plenty busy. I hope that you also have lots of art projects and creative projects to keep you occupied through the end of the year. Uh, thanks so much for watching and I will see you the next time.